Hello and welcome to this video that will be explaining your future in Protar Structure 2024 version. We are going to be considering how to successfully apply column drop panel at the foundation, carry out the design and the reinforcement for the foundation column drop panel successfully in this video. This is a new feature. It, this feature is not in the previous version. We normally have it at the top and not the bottom of the column in the previous version of Protar Structure. And that is normally applied when we are designing flat slab. So in this version, they have actually added this feature so we can as well apply it when we are designing a flat raft foundation like this because this column drop panel actually apply to resist punching shear successfully i will be taking you through how you can apply this successfully in this video so we get started so before you carry out the analysis of the uh, slab raft foundation you must ensure that you apply it the column drop panel successfully at the bottom of the column okay so we will do that now i will have to select this column just as i've applied it here i'll get this column selected and then i right click on it and click on the drop slash slab patch panel options right here just like this and then in this drop dialog i will select to check this permission of drop layout just like this so at default we have this 140 centimeter which is equivalent to 1500 millimeters successfully for both the length and the width of the uh drop panel all right then the thickness of the drop panel is 650 which is equivalent to 600 and uh, 65 centimeter which is equivalent to 650 millimeter so i will change here to 500 for the sake of this video so it's going to be uh 50 centimeter right there just like this and so you can as well apply the you can as well apply it reinforcement but that will be after you must have carried out the analysis and design of the uh slab raft successfully we will do that in this video so i'll click on to apply it or oh, okay right here to have my drop panel just like this the same thing you will do to apply drop panel to all of the vertical member which is the, which are the columns in this structure successfully but with this i will proceed to carry out analysis on this structure so we can do reinforcement successfully for this uh, column drop panel successfully all right so for me to do my analysis i will navigate to the analysis tab right there as you can see, you must carry out the general static building analysis successfully, which you can see I'm having a green check right there, meaning I've done that. So then, now I want to design the uh, slab raft foundation, so I will have to analyze it first before designing the general reinforcement for it successfully. So I will click on the FE foundation analysis, which is the final element. I click right there and I have this FE elements uh, foundation analysis dialog. I will include the columns sections in the fe model okay so after which i will click on the uh floor match and analysis you have to also take note of the slab slash uh raft shared element sizes so i'm going by this size this is 500 and this is 1000 in terms of millimeters successfully all right i click on the floor match and analysis options so i'll give this project some seconds to carry out the analysis of the uh slab raft successfully so see the analysis is done okay since the analysis is done i can click on the okay options so this will take me to post analysis process and report right there okay so the object is done successfully in this message i click on the okay options and then i navigate on the display analysis model so in the display analysis model there i can carry out the uh, design uh, successfully so I will start from the displacement to check it right there so uh, I will be using this uh, 
I was using the key right there to actually check the rate, the extent of it. As you can see, it is being color coded. So I will just have to select in this just to fast track this uh, video. So I click in this promotions so as to see the moment successfully and the required state area right here. This provision is basically explaining the detail uh, in most of our mentorship class. And then I click to check the required state area right here. Okay. Both top and bottom successfully. Okay. I can also check the soil pressure as well. So I haven't uh, checked all of that successfully. I'm done with the uh, analysis. Of this uh, mat uh, raft, I can also check the the movement of the slab raft in terms of uh, or due to load successfully. After which, I can now navigate to the story zero. But by then, I can decide to close this using this provision. Do not close it using here, all right? So I'll click here to close that successfully. So at this point, I want to generate the enforcement for the column drop panel. And so I will have to select the slab itself. I right click on it. I want to add this element. I click on hide the right there so I can see this successfully. So I navigate to this story zero right there. So I select in that provisions. Let me get to the story zero and then over here is the slab uh sorry is the column drop panel all right i will select on it right click and then i come to the drop slash slab patch panel right there okay so in this dialog i will not come to these provisions where i have the spacing i want it to be 150 millimeter spacing in the both directions so which is equivalent to 15 cl cm right there all right so just like this after which I will click on the OK options to have the reinforcement for the drop being generated just like this. You can see. All right. The same thing applicable to this. I will have that selected. Right click and then click on the drop options right there. So I'm already in these provisions. I have uh, the spacing. I can, can just uh, select right here and click on the OK options to have it applied. So you can now see what we have. So this is how you can actually apply the column drop panel successfully and carry out the analysis and then be able to generate reinforcement successfully for your slab raft foundations successfully. I will right click and then I click on show all to have the slab raft enabled. Okay, another feature I want to show you with the control key and then press D on the keyboard. So you can see how you can actually be able to navigate through the analytical and as well as the physical model framing of your structure successfully. So this is another feature you, that you can use to go between the analytical frame just like this. And then you do control D on the keyboard also to get back to the solid uh, model just like this successfully i hope you have learned one or two things in this version of printer structure 2024 successfully if you have any comment you can actually drop in the comment section or if you want to reach to me you can reach to me through the link in the description of this video you can also join our group chat through the link in the description of this video and never forget to like and subscribe please stay tuned stay connected as we see in the next presentation thank you and bye for now.